Guys, welcome back. Another Impala balance for you. It's the first time that I actually see a configuration like this in my years of experience. In saying that, it's not that I've been exposed to pumps all my um, working career, but those that when I have, I've never seen a configuration like this that I must balance today and I'll take you along. Um, let me show you the pumps. Ah, let me show you the Impala and um, we take it from there. Okay, so this is the, the configuration. The front looks like a, the front is like a standard centrifugal pump. And then the back has this diffuser, whatever you call this thing. I'm not too sure what the terminology is. And then here's a plate that comes in between here that separates the two. But yeah, this is what it looks like. And um, let's put it on the machine and find out what it's, what it's like. All right, so these are some of the data that, that I took down, uh, that I captured off camera. This is a Sulza style pump. Uh, the diameter, the weight is plus minus 10 kilograms. I rounded it off. The diameter of the impeller is 261. The radius is 130.5. So density of 7.980. So like I said, that's a very good casting of of a cast iron. I'm assuming I doubt if it's a mild steel pump. It will just corrode away. Um, and then the width of the pump is plus minus 100 millimeters and the wearing up front is 39.4 So that's basically the data that I caught on the unit here This is just the shaft data, the length is plus minus 5 or 1, it's probably 5 and I couldn't measure it, so lacquer And these are the different diameters So anyway, let's put it on the machine and see what's the story Alright, so I got it on the machine. I'm going to. I wanted to run it on this part of the shaft here, but I thought I'll run it on the sleeve here. I mean, there's no damage going to be done here. It's just better on the sleeve because when I move it, when you move the pivot point furthest away from the weight, um, she has a tendency to want to, you know, tilt off the machine. So this is actually quite nicely balanced there. So I'm going to run the the one bearing there, and the other one in this section here. Okay, so what I must do next is I must put in my, my putty, calibration putty. I think I just might make this section here. I'll still figure out where I'm going to make this thing, where I'm going to spray the black. Because generally when it comes to such a small diameter, then the machine isn't that accurate. I mean, it's not like it's not accurate, but it's, it's, she like to be on a bigger diameter. So I think I might put it here. On this section here I'll still decide I'll just play with it but in the meanwhile let's just quick check before we do anything else let's see statically how unbalanced this thing is I'm just gonna bring this thing down to here just to prevent a tilt and then I'm gonna give it a spin and let's see how unbalanced this thing is statically just turning this down so this can land on the shaft just to prevent the flip. Okay, that's good enough. So let's just quickly see. Let's give let's give this impeller mark here. Call that top. And let's give it a spin and see. So we all know by now, if you watched my other videos, if the impeller has tends to want to roll back, then that's the heavy spot. So so let's quickly see what this impeller does. 
and she's coming to a standstill and she's actually stopping relatively relatively nice here's my mark there's my mark let's do it one more time and let's quickly see so it doesn't seem as if this impeller is that much out of balance statically we we'll obviously put it on the machine and then we'll see what she does afterwards so let's just watch her again and she stops okay so she's quite good so what i'm going to i'm going to do next is i'm going to do my black i'm actually going to put it on this part of the shaft here just to see what happens there shouldn't be an issue actually so i'm actually going to put it on this part of the shaft i'm going to put my reflector tape on my putty and my belt and i'm going to put my end stops on on this corners here which i'm going to do all off camera and um, when i'm ready to go i'll show you again all right so she's all set up got the end stops on got my belt on this end stop i got on she's black got my reflector tape got my putty in the keyway so she's good for a startup and um, i'll give it a slow turn as i normally do just to set the end stops and um, let's see what she looks like okay once again i'm going to turn this down so when i do get this started she won't be ramping up Right after that, so my next job is to input all the data into the computer. It's worth knowing that this pump, its operating speed is 1694. I wrote it down on the board there, 1694, the client has told me. So I'm going to set the operational speed at 1694 in the computer, and but I'm going to make the balancing speed 500. So the, as we all know, I said in my past videos that the, the computer will work out, the algorithms will work out the, you know, it does its thing in the background and you see the results at the end of the day. I can't tell you what the algorithm is doing, but it works things out. Anyway, let me put the input, let me input all the data and start the balancing process. Alright, I captured all the data in the machine. I'm ready to do the, the calibration and you know with the calibration comes the calibration putty. Okay, where she goes. Start turning the speed up here. 500 250 Just pinch in the belt some more yeah Fifteen, just so she's touching this side of the of the speed it up. So I just to adjust that quickly. All right, so I'm still turning her up. She's four eighty, four ninety two, as you can see there. Remember, I've made the balancing speed five hundred. So that's in the ballpark and that's a going there now. So far so good.
right I'll turn this to zero until the light flashes there and the supporters with my knee because I'm using one hand here yeah? and I'll put the putty more or less at zero right let's start it again All right, so there we have it. She's eight grams out at 349 degrees. So let's just print this quickly. All right, so here we go. Sulzer, mass, 10 kgs, cast and impeller. Can see that she's eight grams out of 249 degrees she's deemed unqualified by the machine her permissible mass is 1.36 so anything under 1.36 grams the computer will deem qualified but you guys know me i want to go less than half a gram so let's bring this down all right so i'm just turning this this um, cursor you can see there i'm turning the day to uh, to 140 8 degrees which it is that means over here I must take weight off which I'll mark out and I'll take off let me just mark it quickly sorry guys for the bad lighting but the sun is behind me then so I can't really help that so I'll mark this out here and um, I'm going to grind this area here now Right, so I grind it there. I didn't want to take too much off. So I grind it there just to see what effect it has. I can tell you something. This is a very hard cast iron. It was a very hard material. I think it's, it must be cast, but it's a very hard cast. Because like I said, I've never come across a mild ceiling pallet. It will just rust away. So it's definitely some a very good cast iron casting. Anyway, let's run it and see. Um, what difference is little grinding done? Okay, that's a going again. So you can see we're down to 2.72 at 553, so it's more or less in the same area. So I'm just going to switch it off. Yeah, and um, now I'm just going to turn, turn this uh, here, sir. 253 which is all is there you can see she's in the center i'm going to mark it out you can see there oh sorry guys about this light man i know it's crappy but uh it's more or less in the same area so i'm just going to grind a little bit more off over there okay she's back on and i grind it again in that section there you can see the two different shades that was my first grind, that was my second grind. So let's run the machine and see what that done. Just tension this belt again a little bit. Okay, so she didn't come down much. I must grind up obviously much more. So I'll keep on working in that area. All right, after that third grind, I'm down to 0 0.89, which is, let me just put my flash off, which is acceptable, but I'm gonna bring it down to less than half a gram. Okay, let's switch it off. All right guys, so this was my fourth grind now, and I put it back in the machine. You can see there I'm running at 500 revs. Everything's good. She's 0 0.05 grams out at 224. This is as near as damn it. Let's stop this and print this. Alright, let's make a comparison here. Let's just move this lot here quickly. Okay, so there we go. Jules Impeller, blah 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 blah, same old data. We started at 8 at 349. She was unqualified, deemed unqualified. 
So then I brought it down to 0 0.05 at 224, it's virtually in the center, and she's qualified. Not forgetting that the permissible mass was 1.36, I actually brought it down to your 1.33 or 1.31 or whatever the calculation is. But anyway, she is spot on, she's good to go. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.